Nick Halfland, NCAA finalist tomorrow here in OKC first off. You specialize in defense. We talked about that, and it, it won this match for you against Schiller. How hard is it to beat like that guy, a guy like that consecutive three times in a row? Super hard. Schiller is just a tough opponent. You know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he's in the national finals next year. That guy's tough as can be. Got a freshman, a super freshman, true freshman, Jaden Cox. And I just got done talking to him, now I'm talking to you. Uh, staying loose, not letting the distractions get to you. How important is that? Super important. You know, um, if you get lost in the crowd, get lost in the match, you, know, you always got to stay laser focused, you know what you're doing, do things with a purpose. You know, as Coach Riggs would always say, you just you know, go out there and do what you do best. What Coach Ryan say to you after you came off the mat? Ah, uh, congrats. He said he's super excited for me and you know, tough right out. Good job. This tournament, you know, I don't think you've ever gotten what you've wanted out of this tournament. You know, you're a two-time All-American before this, three-time All-American now, but never getting what you want. How much does that drive you for tomorrow? Uh, it drives you every day, man. It eats at you. I, I can't tell you. Um, I, I mentioned this in our, our last interview after last year, after uh, I took that, you know, to watch your dreams die in front of you. It's something that's horrible because we all, in the sport, we all train our butts off. So, so to lose is just, it's disheartening. That win, you know, the ride out, you say you're always real comfortable going to the ride out. If it has to go to the ride out tomorrow, do you embrace that? I do. I do embrace it. I, um, I'm not always the best technical wrestler. I never have been, but uh, I'm mean as can be, you know. So. Take that parry mentality with you everywhere? Yeah, absolutely. Junkyard dog style? Absolutely. How do you feel? You know, we talk all year about being bigger, being stronger. Are you even tired in that overtime? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. But I know that he's just as tired, and that in itself motivates me to push harder. What's it like not having jello legs? I know you wrestled a lot last year with jello legs and the year before. Absolutely. You know exactly what I know what you're talking about. They're tingling. Yeah. You can't feel them. You don't have much power. The, the pop's not there. You're not explosive. To not be on the treadmill, you know, hours before the match is awesome. Was, that's all, you know, I, I slept. I slept early today, that's what I did. And then I didn't worry about my weight. I went home, I slept, I ate, I caught my show up by myself. Are you feeling the positive effects of not having that round two match? Yes, absolutely, it was huge. I think uh, we talked about that in um, an earlier interview. That was huge. You know, that, that medical forfeit, just how it played out, you know, absolutely huge. All right, you got anything else for me? Um, you know, I just want to thank Christ for the opportunity, and I just want to say go box. Can we go shoot guns after this? Something? Yes, we can. Absolutely. Thanks for the time. Yep. Good luck tomorrow.